in this video i'll talk about what is supervised learning as you know machine learning algorithms are broadly divided into two types supervised learning algorithms and unsupervised learning algorithms in this video i'll talk only about supervised learning algorithms in a separate video i'll cover the unsupervised learning algorithms supervised learning algorithms are further uh, divided into two types uh, regression uh, algorithms or regression problem and classification problem so these are the two problems where we uh, use the supervised learning algorithms to solve the problems let us study first what is a regression problem and how do we use an algorithm a uh, machine learning algorithm to solve it you can see on the screen uh, there is a graph in the x axis you have size and in the y axis you have price so this is about uh, finding out the price of a house based on the size of the house well we have the understanding that if the size of a house increases the price of that house also increases that means price increases with size it never happens that your price of houses decreases with size of houses very unlikely we are plotting the uh, price with respect to the size in this graph uh, you can see here that the uh, cross marks are the point data points i have got eight uh, houses and i have plotted it on a xy plane now uh, from this graph i need to predict that what is going to be the uh, price of a house of a new house based on the uh, size of the house or the area of the uh, of the house for that what i can do is that i can look at the pattern that is existing in the data points that i already have i already have around uh, eight data points by studying the pattern or the relation between price and size of the house i can somehow predict what is going to be the price of a new house uh, if the size of the house is given so for that what i can do is that i can fit a linear line to this data uh, well just by guess i have uh, fitted a linear line of course uh, in a you, 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 you can always fit a better line which will fit the data in a better way um, you can see the uh, green line i have fitted to the data and it's a linear line considering that price linearly depend on size and it increases as you can see the line uh, is upward sloping so what essentially it says that if this particular line is considered to be the uh, uh, the uh, best fit to these data points using this line we can predict what is the price given size okay now uh, of course the line doesn't fit the data because you will see a lot of data points are uh, lying on the upper sides and they are not they are not linear in fact it looks like there is some uh, you know curvy linearity existing in the data so this kind of problems where we need to uh, determine the uh, value of a continuous variable based on some other variable we are trying to determine the value of price based on size price is a continuous variable what is a continuous variable a variable which takes value between 
two given values it can take any value so price can take any value from zero to infinity it depends on another uh, value which is size so these problems are known as a regression problem and why it is a linear here because i have fitted a linear line to it okay you can see on the screen that i have fitted a quadratic line or you know i assume that there is a quadratic function which will fit the data points better than a linear function as you can see the quadratic function or the quadratic line uh, it passes through the uh, data points most of the data point and it's very close to them so it approximates the price of the house based on size in a better way than the linear line so these kind of uh, uh, problems we call it as uh, curvilinear regression problems or we fit a curvilinear line to uh, such uh, such type uh, of uh, data points um, the price of the house can well be determined if you take any point on this particular for example here the pointer you can see you just uh, you know um, draw a perpendicular to the x-axis and draw a perpendicular to the y-axis and for a given size you can always get to know what is the price of a house so why do we call it as a supervised uh, algorithm we call it supervised algorithms because there is a presence of a target variable what is the target variable in this case the target variable is the variable of interest or the variable that is of interest to us or the result variable or we can say the output variable the output variable is nothing but the price here in the example price is what matter to us we want to know what is the price and we already have data for price so in this kind of problems we have a target variable and we have data for the target variable and that's why we call it a supervised because the output of the algorithm is already there so we can actually teach the uh, system or the computer to find out pattern between the output variable and the other variables other information given to us so what is the other information here it's the size of the house so using the relation between our price and size of the house it will learn it will form some kind of a uh, uh, you know a, a pattern or it will it will learn it by uh, comparing the values corresponding value of these two variables and it, it, it can predict a new instance or a new uh, case wherein a data is given for size and it will predict the house price okay so house price is a function of size given size we can predict house price so wherever the target variable is there and target variables values are there in the uh, data set we call these algorithms as supervised algorithms there will be cases where the output variable or the variable of interest each is something for which we won't be having any data so those kind of uh, problems are called uh, unsupervised problems or the algorithms algorithms we used to solve these problems where we don't have the data for the output variable or the target variable we use unsupervised algorithms in supervised algorithms you will have data pairs so data uh, you will find the data in a pair where you will have the target variable value for every corresponding uh, other information or we call it explanatory variable size is explanatory variable and uh, for every every data point for data point 1 house price 1 size 1 for data point 2 house price 2 size 2 so these are different houses and for which we have both the data 
the predictor data and the predicted data or the output data and the explanatory data. These cases will not be there in unsupervised uh, learning algorithms or unsupervised learning, unsupervised uh, uh, machine learning problems. In those cases, you will only have size. You won't have data for house price. Okay. Another type of uh, supervised learning algorithm is classification algorithm or it is a set of problems we call it uh, classification problems. The problem uh, uh, in front of us is that we want to predict whether a tumor is malignant or it is not malignant. It is a benign case. So it is either or or. So the target variable here is not continuous, it is discrete, it takes only two values, either it is a malignant cancer or it is not. So it is not a quantity variable, it is a categorical variable, right. If it is malignant, we denote it as 1, if it is not, we denote it as 0. And here are the data points you can see, I have uh, some observations, the red ones are the one who are having uh, malignant cancer and uh, the green uh, crosses are the ones who are not malignant, the, these tumors are not malignant. So we, we want to find algorithm which can discriminate between these two types and these problems are known as classification problems. So this is another type of supervised learning algorithm. So remember here that we have value for the target variable. Okay, The target variable in this case is whether a tumor is malignant or not. We can have classification problems with more than one variable. So uh, we, we would be given uh, a lot of tumor cases and we would be having more than one variable in place. We have size of the tumor and then age of the individual. So based on age and size of the age of the individual and size of the tumor, we uh, we will be asked to you know find out that um, find out that uh, whether somebody is having malignant uh, tumor or a benign tumor. Okay. We can segregate based on a classification algorithm. Okay, and we can extend this to any number of variables. We can have any number of useful information which can be used to find out whether somebody falls into the malignant cancer category or the benign cancer category. And we can extend these problems to many other uh, real life problems. In a bank, you might want to find out whether a particular customer is a good customer or is a bad customer, is a loyal customer or is a disloyal customer. Uh, we can extend this problem to medical science problem whether a, a patient is going to die after the operation or is going to survive after, after the operation. So these are the areas where uh, we can uh, use supervised learning algorithms both the classic, uh, you know, the uh, regression algorithm as well as the classification algorithms to solve uh, different kind of problems. Thank you.